Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Wednesday, April 27th, 2022. Well, my goodness, as this uh, month winds down, what volatility we have here at the end of the month. Those bears came in with a nasty, nasty pop and drop yesterday, reversing that hopefulness of the day before and pushing us back down to test some 2022 lows in the market. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. top of the morning my friends and fellow traders i know yesterday was one of those brutal days it just seemed like holy moly what in the world is going on here but honestly it probably shouldn't have been that big of a surprise as we talked yesterday we didn't resolve anything in those charts yesterday on that rally back and it just was one of those unfortunate things where they tried to uh, bait folks into the market and then uh, found somebody to sell to and then completely reversed back to the downside now this morning we have a similar situation occurring we're getting a big overnight reversal trying to push back up despite some mix in earnings events um, last night we have um, an attempt to really pop us back up this morning and honestly we kind of need a relief rally we are oversold in the short term but let's take a look at these technicals and see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach it for today first off let's notice that the Dow held on to these um, these price lows here we didn't break down through these price lows um, in the chart and this is one of the only indexes that didn't test those levels now if you take a look right here we did break down however through that price a little price support right there and this morning we're trying to bounce right back up above that in a gap up this morning but let's keep in mind guys we have a massive resistance level above that we still need to break through so we want to keep in mind that we certainly even though we're gapping up this morning there'd be no reason to believe that we couldn't have another pop and drop so be careful not to just race right in remember we still have downtrends in these charts that we need to break we need to get back above some resistance in the chart and until that occurs it's going to be really really difficult to see this as a bullish chart because in every one of these places we could see bears lined up to defend uh, those areas. So as we rally back, you want to be questioning whether or not um, there's bears up here and we don't want to be racing in blindly once again just for that possibility that we could push on lower. Remember, we've got an FOMC meeting coming up where they're planning to raise interest rates aggressively. That does not make markets very happy as a general rule. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely. Let's take a look here at our technicals in our chart. Certainly a rally back up to this area would be a wonderful relief rally to see and the possibility does exist that that could occur. But let's also keep in mind our 50 day moving average is still above our price and it is starting to reverse and decline once again. Um, so we'll want to watch that closely and notice above that we've got our 34 EMA, 20 EMA and 8 EMA, all of those lining up in here to provide a pretty substantial level of price resistance right through that area. So we've got some work to do. I'm not saying that the bulls can't get her done, but we do have some work to do before we can really um, gain much confidence that the bulls have resumed control in the market. Let's take a look at our SPY, SPY, very similar situation other than SPY came right down here testing these lows here in uh, 2022 not breaking down through them but trying uh, desperately to hold on and as you can see if we look just right above here we have a significant level of price resistance in that chart that we're going to have to get back up above before we can really start to feel very comfortable in the market. Notice we still have other resistance levels in the chart um, to um, 
to recapture and certainly we have downtrends here to be paying attention to all over the place so until we can start relieving some of that downside pressure we've got a lot of convincing here to do before I think we can really be confident that the bulls are stepping back in and if we take a look at this chart certainly a failure again from the 200 back down through the 50 day moving average testing these lows our 50 day moving average is moving down so we just have this this really big resistance level that has established itself in our technicals here in the chart as well so as we rally back start watching for those areas where the bears could defend these um, resistance levels and then let's take a look at our qqq our qqq also moving lower and unfortunately our QQQ broke the lows of 2022 and made a new low. So we have a, um, a full on official bearish picture here in the NASDAQ with that lower low follow after that lower high in the chart and we continue in this downtrend. Now we are oversold in the short term and we can do a couple of things here. We could bounce back into these resistance levels and downtrend and um, that would be a nice little relief rally but we're going to watch that carefully for that potential that the bears could be right in this area ready to push us back down. We could also see more of a consolidating move, more of a resting move out here toward that uh, trend. And then of course we still run that potential. We could fail or push on through to the upside. Remember, FOMC is, is not gonna be here to backstop the market. Um, at this point so watch carefully things have changed and our technicals in this chart pretty dismal as well notice that we fell through the 500 day moving average here in the chart uh, this green line here and any rally back up in that could also serve as price resistance in the chart so pretty ugly here on nasdaq now um, we have as these big tech tech earnings continue to roll out we continue to run into that uncertainty with google um whoops with google missing yesterday um uh, showing substantially lower and that's really dragging things down other things down notice facebook is being drugged down uh texas instruments um drug um the um, index lower here and it's really affecting um, most stocks in the sector so be kind of careful here um, as we progress forward be because that QQQ is pretty darn bearish even though we had that uh, good report in Microsoft where they beat but we will want to notice here that even though we beat and we are gapping up we're not resolving anything yet here in Microsoft we're still in downtrend and still underneath price resistance so keep a close eye on that as we progress throughout the day and then if we take a look at our Russell by golly that Russell um, boy right at the cliff's edge as a matter of fact started to fall off that cliff's edge here yesterday um, in the chart trying to break some lows here of 2022 so let's watch that closely this is obviously still in a confirmed downtrend we still have lots of downtrending going on in this chart we have lots of resistance above now that we've created in this chart so any rally back once again we're going to be watching those resistance levels for potentially the next place that we could short um, in the market and keep in mind IWM doesn't have a whole lot of support in here until we drop substantially into the 165 um, area of the chart so pretty darn bearish here in these index charts and then if we take a look at our T20 oops we need to look at the VIX first that VIX spiking up yesterday showing us that fear and it really kind of accelerated at the end of the day up here around 33 handles so you'll want to watch this up here we haven't really seen that big capitulation move in the market so we may not be the possibility exists that we may not be quite done because we didn't get that big capitulation move but watch that carefully as we approach some of these areas up here remember I've said this before if we break up in here above in these 40 areas of the VIX we often see a big change in institutions what will happen is they will start to deleverage 
um, um, and rotate in um, the market. And so watch that closely. If um, that were to occur, that could be problematic for us. Now, keeping in mind, if this area up here holds as resistance, that would be a good thing, thing and we could start to slide back down here and relax in the market just a little bit. That's what we need to see for a relief. So let's keep our fingers crossed. That's where the market's headed for today. If we take a look at our T2122, doggone, it. T2122, we are down here in the bullish reversal zone. This suggests that we are extremely oversold at the moment and that we should be expecting some kind of a relief rally to begin at any time. Is that today? Well, futures are kind of suggesting that we have that opportunity for a pop. But remember, we have a lot of economic data and earnings data coming our way that could change um, that attitude really quickly. Um, so kind of keep that in mind if we do start to rally that would be a nice thing to see and maybe picking us up off the floor here at least for a little while but that doesn't mean that the all clear has been sounded and we're ready to zoom right back to the top and then keep an eye on um, our other indicators here t2108 well that that's pretty disappointing. Yesterday, it uh, broke on down through these supports. 29% of the stocks here at the close of the day holding above their 40-day moving average. And obviously, this downtrend continues in this chart. Now, we could catch that relief rally and bounce back up and come right back above that little area and, and try to hold that as support. And that would be a good thing if we can get that relief coming in the market. Unfortunately, T2107 didn't help us out either yesterday. We're continuing, obviously, in this downtrend. And we did break this price support yesterday with only 30% of our stocks holding above our 200-day moving average. So pretty bearish um, in the market. But you, know, you can't hang your hat on the fact that at least we haven't made new lows um, here in those indicators. So we may start seeing those bulls starting to uh, fight back a little bit harder here to hold the market up. We'll see. And then if we take a look at our T2101, well, T2101 did finally give us a little bit of a spike yesterday in that selling here. So we are seeing um, a little bit of that bearish move as um, momentum kind of picked up to that downside here in the market. If we take a look at our um, um, economic or, or uh, diamonds chart, you can see here we did get that spike in uh, volume. So some of those volume uh, moves starting to pick up, maybe a little bit more momentum starting to to show up in the market. Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar today. Or oh, first, our economic calendar. Our economic calendar is going to be. Um, a few things that we'll have to pay attention to here. Mortgage applications have already come in. And unfortunately, uh, you know, those refis and things like that here in the market have been showing some pretty um, big ugliness. Notice um, uh, down down huge on those mortgage applications. And that is really starting to show that those rising rates are putting some pressure on the consumers. Uh, we have international trading goods here this morning. Um, we'll want to watch that one closely. We've been running terrible deficits in international trading goods. We've been ignoring it, but unfortunately, at some point in time, that's going to really be pointing to the fact that we're importing stagflation or deflation in the market because we're bringing in cheaper goods and we're not producing anything and shipping them out to offset that. So watch that closely. We're really importing that stagflation. And then if we take a look, we've got pending home sales here. That could be problematic today. We'll want to keep an eye on that. Petroleum status numbers will be out this morning. And um, that obviously with oil surging back up yesterday, that could be something to pay attention to here today and then we have a two and five year note and let's keep in mind our five-year bonds are inverted over our 10-year bonds right now continue to stay that way now as you plan forward into the next day boy i wish i could say that it's going to get easier but i don't think it is we've got a gdp number coming out on uh, thursday morning um, with jobless claims and we did hear you know robin hood um, laying off nine percent of their workforce um, we may with rising interest rates start to see 
um, these jobless claims begin to perk up. So watch those closely. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Our earnings calendar is a busy one today. There's no way I can cover um, even a portion of the stocks um, on that earnings calendar for today. Um, so make sure you click that link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog and we um, you'll be able to get that full list of notables. Keep in mind, guys, we have a lot of them today that could move the market around pretty substantially. We've got Facebook after the bell today and it is already, whoops, it's a two day. It is already showing some bearishness here this morning. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. We're going to hear from a Boeing. It looks like Boeing may be showing a little bit of disappointment here this morning um, in that chart. We're going to hear from Qualcomm um, later on today, so keep an eye on that. We've got Spotify that we'll be reporting here today. We've got General Dynamics reporting today. Looks like we've got a little bullishness going on in that. We've got Harley Davidson that we'll be reporting. Looks like a little disappointment there. O'Reilly reporting today looks like we're getting some bullishness in that so quite a mix here in those earnings reports we'll just have to be really really careful as we move forward and expect considerable volatility to continue in the price action so with that how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do it guys if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified notified every time I post a video and I just want to say thanks to everyone who does take the time to do it you know I, I know it's kind of a pain every single day but I really appreciate um, the support of the effort of putting these videos out every day and thank you so much to everyone who does take the time and also thank you to everyone who supports the channel through buy me a coffee you guys um, uh, I, I really really appreciate that you guys are truly truly awesome and then make sure you click those thumbs up buttons and leave those brief comments share the video out there on your social media feed that helps the channel to continue to grow as well so thank you so much everyone let's take a look at a few charts that could be setting up but please keep in mind guys these are not necessarily recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact we're going to have to be really really careful in this market and, and and i would want to echo what i've said earlier this week if you're an inexperienced trader if you don't handle high volatility moves in the market very well it might be a good time to stand aside and not do any additional trading until things um, ease up here a little bit so be really really careful we don't want to be caught up in these fear of missing out moves and then have that complete reversal or overnight reversal showing up quickly in those charts so a couple places you might want to take a look take a look at consumer staples anything in that consumer staple defensive sector area has been holding up quite well now yesterday everything kind of got drawn into some selling but keep in mind, um, some of these uh, stocks, we're just going to need these products um, going forward, even if we have rising inflation and, and um, rising costs. Um, uh, to the consumer we're still going to need these kind of products so keep an eye on stocks like clx um hershey um big pop and drop here on hershey this morning watch that closely remember it's going to report here on 428 but a lot of those stocks um, um holding in beautiful upside trends you might also want to take a look in the area of utilities now utilities have recently pulled back here but there are utilities out there like um, Consolidated Edison. Just a nice little resting pullback. Could still hold some price support levels and, and push on through to the upside. Keep a close eye on that. Keep a close eye on um, um, natural gas. We're hearing the news today that um, Russia is shutting off natural gas to Poland and Bulgaria. Um, obviously, that's going to be a big problem over there uh, for Europe. Um, so keep an eye on that. Natural gas continues to hold up well. And this is a nice little resting platform here where we could see that move on up. Now, I have a little bit of bias in this, I have to admit, because I've been holding UNG for a long, longer term hold. So I'm uh, this thing is just up so much. It's phenomenal. But um, 
um, keep a close eye on that. I think natural gas prices, as we continue to, well, as Russia weaponizes um, energy, um, uh, it certainly has that opportunity to continue moving higher. Keep a close eye on those. Now, we've had some recent pullbacks in some of these energy stocks. Let's take a look at like XLE. Um, some of these energy um, uh, stocks pulling back um, and with those pullbacks, opportunities for maybe some additional long positions could set up. So as we pull back and find support levels in some of these stocks, and there's there's a lot of them. Take a look at Halliburton pulled back, breaking trend, but if it can hold those higher lows, Schlumberger, um, MRO, PSX, there's just a ton of these. Take a look at KMI and natural gas, uh, mostly pipeline supplier. It may be failing here at price resistance here this morning, but I just have to uh, point out that these overall trends um, in a lot of these continue to hold. So watch those closely. It doesn't doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me that we would see a major collapse in um, those things as long as this war continues to go on over there in um, Ukraine. So watch those closely. Other places that you might look is just some of those kind of conservative places um, where we have discount sellers. Take a look at Walmart. Walmart's been holding up really, really well here. Moving up in a trend and maybe setting up for another upside move. Take a look at um, like Dollar General. Dollar General backing up to its trend. A little bit of pressure on that yesterday. Notice we've got some price support right through here. So watch that carefully if that can start turning back around and perking up. Um, Dollar Tree also beautiful upside trend. Little resting pullback in here could easily be set up for an upside move. So you might want to take a look at some of those stocks as well um, those are coming around and even though we've had a little bit of recent pullback in some of these commodity prices take a look at like um, ADM yesterday ADM little pop and drop on that day it tried to move on up but keep an eye on this um, we know food prices are going up and as a matter of fact um, there was some news out that a lot of the small businesses and things in, in grocery are looking at 10% increases in those costs um, here in the near future so watch that closely um, some of these commodity type prices are looking pretty uh, they're really elevated, but there's no reason to believe at this point that they're not going to go down and or go on up. And particularly with supply chain problems, as China continues um, its shutdowns over there, um, supply chain issues may be cropping up. So we have some other um, issues here to deal with in these charts. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I know this is a very challenging time, but as I mentioned earlier in the week, you know, if you don't feel like you have have an edge stand aside protect your capital wait for that edge to return in the market wait for some of this volatility to die down and then you can get back in the market and still have a capital base to work with unfortunately i'm working with a lot of folks here recently in private coaching that have just pushed and pushed and pushed and as a matter of fact they're trading faster and harder right now when they have no edge and consequently their accounts are showing some pretty substantial damage so be careful with that. Stand aside. Let the volatility shake itself out and then re-enter when you have a better edge in the market. If you're an experienced trader, boy, there's a lot of price moves in here. And like we've been doing in right way options, we've been making some pretty good money. So keep a close eye on that. Last thing I want to remind you guys of or tell you about is we're going to be holding an open house um, on May 2nd and 3rd of next week, May 2nd and 3rd, hit and run candlesticks and right way options will be wide open for everyone to come in. Join us for the day, those two days. We're gonna do some training. Um, we're gonna have a, a good time on those days. You can kind of get a sense of what we do throughout our day. So with that, everyone, have an awesome day. We'll see you right back here, bright and early Thursday morning. Wish you all the best.